Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to order numbers up to 100,000. The question is written out. We've got four options A, B, C, D. For A the number is 632,487. B is 632,768. C is 632,459. And D is 632,821. And the question is written on the right hand side. We have to arrange these in order from the smallest to the largest number. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to begin on the left hand side. Now I'm assuming you've already counted the digits and all of them have, there are six digits. Okay, they've all got six digits. We're going to start on the left hand side and we're just going to circle all the numbers just so that we can highlight what you should be looking at. We're going to start over here. Now have a look at each of these numbers. We've got 6666. Six, six, six. All of them are the same. So we cannot determine which is larger and which is smaller by looking at the hundred thousands. We're now going to move across to the ten thousands. There we go, we're just going around here. And so those are the ten thousands. And what do you notice? That's right, they're all the same. So we still cannot work out which is larger and which is smaller. So what what do we do? We keep going. Now we're gonna look at the thousands. And what do you notice about these numbers? It's two, 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 two. Again, they are all the same. So let's carry on. We're now going to look at the hundreds. So for numbers A, B, sorry, for options A, B, C, D, these are the hundreds. Now what do you notice here? Well, four is the same as this four here. But we've got a seven and we've also got an eight. So what we can do is we can fill in some of the boxes on the right hand side. So let's have a look at this. It is four, seven and eight. So which is the smallest number out of this? Well the smallest number is four. But there are two fours. There's one here and there's one here. So we're going to leave that. We're going to concentrate on the other two, 7 and 8. Which is the largest? The largest one is, and we'll just circle it here, the largest one is 8. So this is the largest number out of all four. And we've determined that by looking at the hundreds. So we're going to put it here. Make sure you put it in the right box. D is the largest. So we have completed D. We don't need to worry about that anymore. And so we are left now with 4 and 7. There are two 4s and one 7 in the hundreds column. So therefore the largest number is out of these two is 7. That's this one here. So this is the next largest number and it is B. So we have now done B as well. As for A and C, well, we cannot tell which is larger or smaller by looking at the hundreds. We have to keep going to the right and look at the tens. So for A, we have 8, and for C, we have 5. So we've got 8 and 5. Which is larger of the two? That's right, it is 8. 8 is the largest. So therefore, we write that in next. Now that leaves C, which is the five tens. So C goes at the top. 
So that is how we determine how to order numbers up to a hundred thousand. First, determine how many digits there are. If they are all the same, start on the left-hand side and gradually work your way across.